I'm Gung Haseo, and welcome to the Boots on Midnight Movie. I'm your host, Donald, and we're bringing March of the Monsters to a close with our annual member drive. That's right, it's that magical time of year where we at the Boots on Midnight Movie encourage you to subscribe to our channel, even though we ask you to subscribe to our channel every week. But this time we're doing it at the beginning of the episode, and constantly throughout. The movie we've chosen for our special member drive feature is the Taiwanese film War God, or War of God, or Kaiju Calamity, or... You know what? It has lots of names. So many names! That's the kind of value we bring you at the Busan Midnight Movie. But before we get to tonight's feature, as always, we have the next episode of Zorro's Black Whip. Last time, the Black Whip escaped from a sealed vault with an exploding keg by closing an extra door. Vic was accused of robbing Mr. Hammond's safe and arrested. Barbara recycled footage to see if she could remember the path the real bandits took in the previous episode and maybe reclaim the stolen money. Meanwhile, a mob of the worst actors gathered to lynch Vic, struggling to decide which of their wooden performances would serve as the gallows. The Black Whip managed to steal the money back from the bandits, but was knocked from her horse on her way back to town. Since it's the episode in our member drive, this must be the one where Zoro appears. So without further ado, episode 4 of Zoro's Black Whip, Detour to Death. Welcome back to the Busan Midnight Movie Member Drive. That's right, we're trying to drive up our subscriber count to justify the continuation of this show because there's no financial incentive behind it. There's no money in it at all. In fact, my visa specifically forbids me from taking any money outside my job. I'm trapped in this country, beholden to their will, until they no longer have use for me and I'm inevitably discarded, left to die alone on the streets of a foreign land. And I'll be sure to stream the whole thing on Snapchat with the puppy face filter enabled. Tonight's feature goes by many names, but we're just gonna call it War God. Martians invade the earth, and the only force that can defeat them is the spirit of Kuang Yu, who's summoned from a wooden carving of himself. Folks, none of that is a translation error, but the rest of the movie is. Take it from a VCD bootleg of a VHS bootleg of what may be a cam rip, this is our first feature to be completely subtitled in both English and Mandarin, but don't expect that to help. A third of the time, the subtitles are cut off on the sides, a third of the time they're illegible, and a third of the time, they don't make sense. That adds up to one whole gonzo movie experience, the kind you can only find on the Busan Midnight Movie or the Internet Archive at archive.org where I find all these movies. So what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button. We have a room full of volunteers waiting by the phones to take your subscription, even though that's not how this works. I don't know why they're here, but they won't leave. And they won't let me leave. While I try to escape my certainly horrible fate, please enjoy tonight's film, War God. As a special pledge drive treat, enjoy this musical interlude. And now back to tonight's feature, War God. They've gone. They're all gone. We couldn't get the extra subscribers, so they left and left me behind because there's still eight episodes of Zoro's Black Whip, and surely, surely Zoro will show up in one of them. Right? Anyway, here's a preview of our next feature. 
A four-hour cut of Justice League? You'd have to be high to watch that. So all month long, it's a buffet of drugs and the terrible life decisions that go along with them. First, we start with a primer of what's available to ingest and endure with the 1958 police training film, The Narcotic Story. Get your goofballs and tea and settle in for some fun next time on the Busan Midnight Movie. The goofball has won a friend. They left me a rocket. They want me to go with them. But there's still work to do. Still trash left unseen. Still, still so many films to willfully misinterpret when I make promos for them. So I, I, I guess I'll stay. I have to stay. So as always, come silently done. Thanks for watching. And for the last time tonight, I'll ask you to please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, stay safe, stay inside, and stay spooky.